Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to create dynamic sorting using a parameter control. You probably have data similar to this. This is customer name down the left hand side. You have a couple columns with profit, quantity, and sales. And you want the user to be able to sort based on sales and then change to the top profit and also look at the number of quantity that's being sold in descending order. The way we're going to do that is by creating a parameter control. So come over here, create parameter. We're going to call this customer sort. This is going to be a string because we're going to use words so it's easier to understand what's being done. And we have a set number of items we want in the list. So we're going to select list. We're going to call it sales. Tableau will automatically populate the display. Profit. Once again, automatically populating, and quantity. Come down here, you see parameters control. We're going to select show parameter control. Come over here, you can select profit, quantity. Right now, it doesn't do anything. So what we need to do is come back over, create another calculated field. We're going to call this customer sort index. And basically, we're going to say is if the customer sort, parameter control, those sales. Oops, let me bring, make this a little bigger so you can read it. Then we want to bring over the sales value. Else, if the customer sort equals quantity, then we want to bring over the quantity. And finally, else if the customer sort equals profit, you need the quotation marks because it's a string, then we want to bring over the profit. And this is the key here, this if then in this else if statement. So based on what the parameter is, that's what the value that we're going to pull over. So we'll bring this, we're going to not bring it over to the measures, we're going to bring this over to the rows. Now, Tableau, we want to actually change this to discrete, because Tableau will sort based on the first field in the rows shelf. And so what we want to do is we want to sort the customer name based on this sort index. We bring it over, change it to discrete. Now, under customer name, we are going to sort based on a field, customer sort index, and descending. So we've got quantity selected. We'll select sales. You can see it's going descending order by sales. And then profit, descending order by profit. What we can do is we can hide this so you don't see it. And there you go, dynamic sorting. 